Welcome to LJP Tech Channel. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Make sure you press the bell button as well. Now I present to your host, LJP Tech. Hello everyone. So Tag Heuer has recently released some brilliant looking watch faces and I just realized this morning, I just want to share this with you. So this is uh, the Porsche 2, which is a perfect combination with my uh, neon green yellowy strap that I had for a while. As you can see, the color theme goes well um, and I just, I'm already in love with this one. And this is exactly why you should get a premium brand smartwatch. Tag Koya provides a really, really uh, brilliant looking watch faces indeed, like Super Mario that I featured a while ago. So if you were to scroll down, you'll see that the, a few days ago, they released the Stella watch face. This looks really interesting. Uh, it reminds me of Jacob & Co. Um, and also they released the winter version as well. So you can see that uh, this is like the race themed version uh, that I should have really shared it with you guys a while ago, but let's actually try out some of these, shall we? So in regards to the winter watch face, I have to admit that um, Tag Heuer has overdone it. These are really lovely animation and the only thing that you can see time-wise is those two uh, thing that moves around. One is the triangle and the circle. So one is the hour and one is the minute. Um, but to be able to apply these, it takes ages um, for uh, to be applied. I mean, this is what's happening. I mean, I've, it's been several minutes since I tried to apply one of the watch faces and what it says later on, if you're trying to overdo it, it says you need to connect on a wireless uh, setting to be able to run these. So that's a bit of a disappointment, I have to say, but just to go through the watch faces, we got the, um, this is basically a racing engineer, Formula One engineer mascot actually clearing the frosted window. These are the three guys actually jumping around, exercising. Um, this one is like a snowball fight, very cute. And this is basically a drive-through animation. Uh, I haven't actually managed to apply this one, so I, I would assume that uh, open up the lens and looking around, uh, driving in the snow, uh, finish line, also the Carrera spec, that's really cool, and the driving view um, on uh, the first person view kind of thing. And I would really love this to happen. This is actually the firework happening that will be really cool that shows the date. I'm presu I presume all the rest of the one actually shows the date as well. Yeah, the rest of the one does show the date, but uh, this one has a firework. I think that would look quite cool. But if we were to apply that, that's what you get. And you might get it, you might not get it. Maybe it's because this is the first model of connected. Uh, so probably that's why it's not happening. There you go. So we have the um, three guys exercising. So that is quite cool, isn't it? While as if you were to try the other ones, it's still sort of buffering. It takes ages. Again, um, I started with 100% and then it's already down to 89%. So you can see that it drains the battery humongously. So there you go. So if you leave it for about five to 10 minutes, you finally get uh, the other one, which is the uh, dancing two characters with the fireworks. That's pretty cool, I have to say. But again, takes ages. So this one is the um, Stella version. Uh, Stella version actually has 24 hours. You could either go for the blue or the sort of like a black version. Uh, this is the 12 hour version of it. And you could actually try the Earth. Uh, this is the moon and Jupiter. Surprisingly, we haven't got Mars, but maybe we might get Mars. So for the blue version, because it's brighter, Let's try the um, Stella watch face. Okay, so look at that. That is so cool. So a 24 hour digit, and also you can see all the solar system, uh, sun being the center, and that is like a Jacob & Co kind of um, effect, isn't it? This is why I love Tag Heuer smartwatches. And if we were to change into a 12 hour one, this is what you get. Okay, look at that. I think this is looking slightly better for some reason, but if we were to change it to a blue color, I honestly cannot tell um, the blue difference between the blue and the 
Oh, you saw the shooting star just walk, um, just fly past. But um, yeah, that's the blue and the black contrast. Yeah. And then we go for the earth. If we apply the earth, it says the earth and the tag warrior and it slowly disappears. And also the sunrise sort of effect happening where you can see the hour and the minute going on. So if we were to try the moon, that's what you get. Another sort of sunrise sort of um, effect. And then pretty much the same. But if people like to stare at the moon, this is what you get. And lastly, we've got the Jupiter. Jupiter, that's quite interesting. So the tag or um, logo with the Jupiter text and another sunrise. So it's just giving this sunrise effect throughout, isn't it? I think this is mainly down to the hours and minute effect as well, by the looks of it. It shouldn't really stay along here all the time. But anyhow, that these are the um, Tag Heuer smartwatch um, recent uh, watch faces and they're brilliant. And this is one of the biggest reasons why you should get Tag Heuer connected I know some people complain that it's not really manufactured in the origin country, but um, I think it's good enough for what we get. And it, I still do not get bored with this watch, even though I had it for uh, almost three years. So I hope this video sort of explained what are the latest watch faces are. But if you have any queries, please do comment below. And thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye bye.